everything <sighs> so it's the hoodie kind of feels today it's really wet outside and i thought it'd be nice to film sit down film like a really glam look so i'm thinking like a purple smoky eye kind of thing i'm gonna try one off camera be back we'll get to it okay so this is kind of what i've come up with so i'm actually so happy with it especially this like pop of shimmer on the lid i'm just like oh it's so pretty so i can't wait to show you guys how i got it so let's get to it so i've already primed my lid with my mac soft ochre paint pot you guys can prime with any eye primer you would like i mean you could really go in with concealer if you really want it as well i'm just being all fancy and shiz you know with my eye primer so for my transition colour today, I'm going to take Wisteria from Makeup Geek on a Zoeva 221 Soft Crease Brush. Just start whacking that through the crease, mainly focusing it on the outer corner and then dragging whatever's left towards the inner corner because we are doing quite a rounded eye today. And I'm buffing it up towards the brow bone, not all the way up, but just enough so that it will act as a transition for the deeper purple and like ready tones. And like I said, just drag whatever's left in towards the inner corner. Just softly. So guys, let me know with the new like setup with my eye makeup. I'm just doing the one eye instead of both. Like, do you prefer me to do both eyes? Or would you prefer me to just do this, like the one eye? I think it's a lot quicker and straight to the point um, when I do it with just the one eye. But yeah, let me know what you guys actually want to see. I saw I'd try something different. I did this a couple videos last year as well, and it was pretty positive feedback, so I thought I'd try it again. But yeah, let your girl know. Okay, so next to deepen up the crease more, I'm going to take these two kind of like pinky, purpley, and like burgundy shades from the Morphe Pride palette. And I'm just starting to build it up so. I'm using that same fluffy brush from Zoeva and I'm just starting from the outer crease and bringing it in towards the inner. I think it needs to be a little bit more burgundy so I'm just growing a little bit more of that burgundy shade. If you can hear the rain outside, don't mind it. I mean I find it really tranquil and relaxing but it may be a bit loud as background noise, sorry about that. But I just thought it was like such a perfect day to film. Like I love these kind of days where you're just inside. And it's just, I find filming really relaxing. And I'm just bringing some of Wisteria back into the look as well. So next on a petite crease brush, I'm just going to take some of that purple shade. It's like kind of like a lilac-y purple. And then I'm going to place that through my crease just to deepen it up a bit more. And I'm mainly focusing it here rather than bringing it all the way in. I just want most of that pigment here because we're going to create, like, place down a really deep purple next. Next for the outer corner, I'm going to take this really deep purple, it's like a plummy purple, and I'm going to place that, just pack it on initially and then blend it out on the outer corner of my eye. And then just taking some of that burgundy shade I'm just going to blend out that purple a little bit. Okay, next we're going to cut our crease. So I'm going to grab an eye concealer brush and then just some concealer. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal. You guys can use your eye primer. You can use whatever you want. And I'm just going to cut the crease about three quarters of the way. Halfway maybe even. And of course just blend the edges out with my finger so it diffuses nicely into that purple just like that next I'm going to grab this like satin shimmery white from Makeup Geek called Ice Queen and I'm going to pack that on the inner third of my lid with a Morphe MB16 brush and I've just switched to a precise shader brush from Zoeva to really crisp and up that cut crease line then next I'm grabbing this insanely beautiful like foiled duo creamy eyeshadow from the Chi Chi pride palette and I'm going to pack it on the center of my lid with my finger it's a purpley bluey pinky like I said holographic shade it's so so beautiful 
I literally lost my shiznit when I first applied this on because it's the first time I'm using it in this eyeshadow look and it's so so pretty I love it and again going in with that precise shader brush and just crispening up that line then for the outer corner I want to grab this beautiful shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette called Royalty and place that with my finger on the outer part of my eye and grabbing some of that matte purple shade from the Chi Chi palette on my petite crease brush and just softening the edges next before I go in with like falsies and everything I want to create a glitter line across my cut crease so I'm going to take my Revlon photo ready eye art in the shade Topaz Twinkle and I'm just going to use this glittery side and apply it to the cut crease line and for lashes today guys I went in with my iconic lashes from House of Lashes I think they complement this look so well for my bottom waterline today I'm going to grab a nude eye coal and place this just along the waterline to open up the eyes and then for my bottom waterline, I'm going to take that matte purple shade from the Chi Chi palette and just really wiggle that tightly against my outer third bottom lash line with a precise shader brush from Zueva. And I'm even just tapering that with whatever's left on the brush towards the inner, the inner corner. But I'm bringing it about two thirds of the way across, so not touching this area here. And then on a pencil brush from Gloss, I'm going to take some of that burgundy shade and that like pink shade to the smidge. I'm going to blend that purple out with those shades. For my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to take Ice Queen from Makeup Geek. Just apply a little bit, not too much. And then just finish the eyes off with some mascara. So this concludes today's makeup tutorial guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll make sure to leave a list of all the products down below that I use so you guys can take a look for yourself. If you want to purchase them or just recreate this look, you can um, go about it that way. I don't know. Anyway, back to it. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like before you leave and subscribe down below to my channel so you guys can join my fam and keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. Also, if you have any requests for upcoming videos, please make sure to leave them down below in the comment section as well. I'd love to have a bit of inspo and I always like to see what you guys actually want to see from my channel. So yeah, have an amazing day guys. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye.